we're working with four different species of ornamental or aquarium shrimp. Um, they have been reproduced in captivity. Some universities and some scientists have done research and been able to bring them through settlement or metamorphosis. Uh, but they've never really been bred on a commercial scale. So that's primarily the work we're doing here is to raise them on a commercial level so that a new developing fish farm can raise these and sell them to wholesalers that will in turn sell them all over the United States and even to other parts of the world, Europe and perhaps uh, Asia. ago we had inquiry from a private sector to you know look at diversification they were in food fish production they were struggling and uh, uh, difficulty achieving economic viability and we're looking for some al alternate solutions ways to uh, make the company successful so uh, came to Virginia Sea Grant uh, Virginia Tech and we looked at marine ornamentals and through conversion of species went from transition from food fish to clownfish uh, at the site and after about a year, year and a half have become commercially viable producing ornamental fin fish. And from that initial success we are now working with a second company, startup company, looking at marine ornamental shrimp. So uh, we'll look a little bit later downstairs, we'll see broodstock larvae and juvenile production of several species of ornamental shrimp. These retail for probably $35 to $45 in the pet shop. So there's a large demand for them because of their attractiveness and they have a good price point for a farmer to grow these out and spend the time to produce these commercially. In addition to the economic opportunities, the benefits you know that we have to industry, uh, and the domestic markets, etc. There are significant conservation components uh, to, you know, commercialized ornamental aquaculture. Um, most ornamental uh, species that are in the uh, market systems that are in distribution come from wild harvest. There are certainly many examples of sustainable, good commercial harvest species in locations, but at the same time. A lot of these species come from tropical, semi-tropical areas and with climate change uh, we're seeing a lot of impacts on coral reefs around the world. Well that's where a lot of these species come from. So as, as, these, species, as these reefs are being you know, impacted and challenged even just from environmental changes, a lot of these species are struggling as well. So there's a very unique conservation component to where if some of these species can be augmented with commercially produced animals, there's a very natural, positive conservation component on that. Oh.